God, we lift you up this morning. We magnify your name. You are King of Kings. You are Lord of Lords. You mighty God, Jesus, Jesus. We call your name this morning, Jesus. Be what it is that we need you to be for us this morning, Jesus. Let us not be afraid to call on your name, Jesus. In every situation, we apply your name, Jesus. There is deliverance in your name, Jesus. There is healing in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Humble our hearts this morning, mighty God. We place everything at your feet, mighty God. Father God, we confess our sins before you this morning. Mighty God, you said nothing that we do is hidden from you. So, mighty God, we ask for you, Jesus, to reveal whatever it is in us, mighty God, that is not of you. Father God, burn it away this morning. Burn it away this morning. Holy Spirit, we call out to you this morning, Jesus. Father God, as we pray this morning, as we humble ourselves, we ask, Lord, that you give an ear unto our prayer. Mighty God, you say you know our thoughts, mighty God, even before we think it, you say that you know our thoughts. So, mighty God, you know the need that we have this morning. You know the need that we have. You know the pains that we have. You know our disappointment that we have this morning. But it does not matter because you are God and you are God alone. You will be glorified in every situation that your children face this morning. So every situation, glory belongs to you. Hallelujah. Father, we place this service in your hands this morning. We place the praise team in your hands this morning. Mighty God, that you will anoint their voices with fire from heaven. We place even the very musicians, the choir in your hands this morning. Father, your children are gathered here this morning. We place them in your hands. Father, that you will have your way. You will have your way with each of us this morning, mighty God. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Father, as the speaker come, I pray, mighty God, that our hearts would have already been turned up, mighty God. And once the word goes through, we will hold on to that word. That word will germinate, mighty God. That word we will apply in our hearts, mighty God. In our lives, mighty God. That word will be applied. Mighty God, we need you more than ever. Father God, every distraction we put to you this morning, everything that comes to take our minds off you, we put it at your feet this morning. Father God, we commit everything to you. We commit everything to you, mighty God, curfew this place. Father God, we ask for those who are coming that you hasten their footsteps, mighty God. Father, we are not here to see anybody but you. We are not here to glorify anybody but you. We are not here, mighty God, to look at our friends but you, Father God. 
We cancel every spirit of fear on your people. Your people will worship you as they have that utterance to worship you, mighty God. Have your own sweet way with us, Jesus. Go before us for the week that is coming. Lord, you know all the stumbling. You know every trap of the enemy that will come to distract us, that will come to steal and destroy the word that will be spoken today. But in your name, mighty God, we stand firm in your name this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor you this morning. We honor you this morning. We honor you this morning. We bless your name this morning. We bless your name this morning. Lily of the Valley, sweet Rose of Sharon, our provider, our Prince of Peace, Jesus. 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 Father God, break us this morning. Break us this morning, mighty God, and mold us in your fashion. We commit ourselves to you this morning. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and the church says, Amen. We have Brother Jabari Harvey coming to do the morning devotional. Thank you. Scripture reading will be taken from Joshua 4, verse 1 to 7. Please listen while I read. Now when all the nations had finished crossing the, crossing the Jordan, the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Take yourselves twelve men from the people, one from each tribe, and command them, saying, Take up for yourselves twelve stones from here out of the middle of the Jordan from the place where the priestess feet are standing firm and carry them over with you and lay them down in the lodging place where you will lodge tonight. So Joshua called the 12 men whom had appointed for the sons of Israel, one from each tribe. And Joshua said to them, cross again to the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. And each of you take up a stone on his shoulder according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Israel. Let this be a sign among you, so, what, so that when your children ask, later saying that, do these stones, what do these stones mean to you? Then you shall say to them, because waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the convi- con- covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, waters of Jordan were cut off, so the stone shall become a memorial of the sons of Israel forever. Therein just ends off a portion of God's holy word. Tonight by saying, The hymn will be taken from hymn 52. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me.
sin. My hand. Say, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Listen, man. If you don't hold your hand, you know, you'll know say. You said that one person, you know them go get it. So we're going to say, thank you, blessed Jesus, for holding my hand when that situation come up. Church, I wonder if you understand. That one situation come up. And if it wasn't for the blessed Jesus holding your hand, we lose your mind. Me talk about me. Me lose my mind. If it was not for that blessed Jesus. Sometimes when you go work, you know, it's coming like say, everything won't drop by you. But thank God that blessed Jesus hold my hand. Eh? Thank God. Sometimes we have some pain in our body. If we not stay strong, we overdose from pain medication. But thank you for blessed Jesus for holding our hands. Every day we get to remember and say, God, thank you for holding my hand. Hold my hand throughout today. Today, the Lord bless you richly. We're going to have the welcome and announcement by Sister Claret Brown. <laughs> praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Bless the Lord. I think we need to change some people's glasses, you know. Yes. What is on the paper is not what is in the mind. Praise the Lord. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Yes. All right. Let me see the worship team jump up to their feet. And we're going to be doing the welcome song. And I'm going to invite the brethren to just greet your fellow brethren that is sitting beside. If you haven't seen each other, just greet somebody. Welcome is extended here. Welcome is extended here. Welcome is extended here. Welcome is extended here. We welcome, we welcome, we welcome you. Welcome to the house of God. We welcome, we welcome, we welcome you. Welcome to the house of God. Welcome is extended here. Welcome is extended here. Welcome is extended here. Welcome is extended here. We welcome, we welcome, we welcome you. Welcome to the house of God. We welcome, we welcome, we welcome you. Welcome to the house of God. Blessed Holy Trinity. Bless the Lord. 
bless the Lord. Praise God. We also want to acknowledge the presence of our host pastor, Bishop James Lewis and Sister Lewis. We acknowledge you. Our councilmen and women who are here, we acknowledge you. Our worship team, our dynamic voices choir. They look goody. Our ushers on duty, our musicians, we welcome and acknowledge you. I have visiting with us today, Miss Grace Ann Hutchinson and Mr. Andrew Graham. Please stand, put your hands together for them. Welcome to Glen Devon. We trust and hope that this is not just a one-time thing, but we'll see you next week and the other week and the other week and the other week. Yes. So happy to have you and thanks for coming today. We also want to welcome back Sister Vera Williams, who was away from us for a while. Welcome back, Sister Williams. If you're here and you're visiting with us today, I must acknowledge you. I, I know that face in the pink shirt down there, but the name just cannot hit back in the, in the head. Yes. Um, remind me of the name? Jassie. I don't know why I call you Jaswani in my head, but I know it was some Jas. Yes. He, he, has, he has been um, one of those persons who, when I was little, he was little here too. Yes. So, um, welcome back to, to, to church. It's been a while, but happy to see you today. All right. To all our regular members and friends, welcome to your father's house. And do feel free to worship in the beauty of holiness. For those online, I have not forgotten you. Thank you for tuning in this morning. And thank you for making Glendevon your place of worship. The Lord bless you as you tune in with us today. Don't forget to share the page and share it with your families and friends. The Lord bless you. These are the day's announcements. Sister Lurleen Watson sends greetings to the church. This evening we'll be having Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet. Please be out this evening at 7 p.m. for Lord's Supper. Fasting service will be on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. right here. Bible studies on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Please place your orders for Sunday school books, which will be needed by the month of March. So the cost for the Sunday school books is $500 and you can give same to Sister Cloyen. Right, Sister Cloyen, are you? Praise the Lord. So Sister Cloyen will be collecting the books, money, so you can give it to her. Sunday school seminar will be on February 10 at the Old Harbor Church. Please indicate to your Sunday school superintendent if you are in ten if you're planning on attending. So the Sunday school seminar is February 10 at the Old Harbor Church and you are to indicate if you are going to be in attendance. The Cornwall Women's Gathering will be on February 14, Ash Wednesday at 10 a.m at the Westgate Hills Baptist Church. It begins at 9 a.m. The offering towards the quota will be collected today. Also, Sister Lewis had posted a form, Google form in the chat yesterday. If you would like to be one of the workers for convention, whatever area, I didn't get to open the form, but it's there in the chat. You can look at it and sign up for the area that they're requesting assistance for. The guest speaker for that morning is going to be Evangelist Tamara Blake 
and Britannian Brown. They said, come for the word, praise and worship, talent, talent extravaganza, and so much more, and expect a divine experience. So if you still haven't found out where the Westgate Baptist, Westgate Hills Baptist Church is, then I know you either. <laughs> so <laughs> Google, we're going to have to assist some of us on that day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, unfortunately, I'll be at work. So, yes. Sister Mito Daly's husband, Mr. Romeo Daly, he's out of the hospital. We give God thanks and praise for your prayers for him and that he will continue on his road to recovery. Sanctuary Choir Practice will be on Thursday at 6 p.m., Sister Lynn, at 6 p.m. My husband would like to express sincere thanks to the church for your prayers and words of encouragement during his time of bereavement. And special thanks to Sister Jada and Sister Mary who came out for the funeral yesterday. The Lord bless you richly. Happy birthday, or let me start with the belated. Happy belated birthday greetings are going out to Sister Kamika Rose, Bailey Rose, or Rose Bailey. Oh, where you go? All right. Some, some something. Rose Bailey. All right. Sister Marie of Bailey Rose. So that's why I'm kind of confused. Sister Kamika, please stand. We have... Sister Annette Cox, who is celebrating her birthday today, please stand. <laughs> Sister Samoya James, who is celebrating her birthday today, please stand. We have Michael Sadler, who is, who is celebrating his on Tuesday. Tuesday is the 30th. Belated. Oy Oh, praise God. Sister Mary, you have the 30. I tell you about them plug people here with glasses. You go off and give them new glasses. All right. So belated to Michael Sadler, who celebrated his on the 23rd. All right. The anniversary people, them now. Belated anniversary greetings to Mr. and Mrs. Wheatley, who celebrated on Monday. And Mr. and Mrs. Nastasia and Carly Smith, they also celebrated on Monday. Judy and Carol Rose, they celebrated on Friday. So, all of the couples, them please stand, are the ones, the onesies, yes, are the, the twos that are here. And the worship team is going to come and sing something nice. Praise the Lord. Happy birthday to you. This is your day. You know that we love you in a very special way. This is your day, your day. Happy birthday. 
anniversary to you this is your day That's right. All right. All right. So I leave with you the quote for this week. Do your best and let God do the rest. If it's pulling you away from God, it's not from God. The Lord bless you. Bless you. Welcome as well extended to you, Sister Claret. And I extend thank you to everyone who has taken thus far. We have a sister Katrina Lampard. She is coming at this time and she has a testimony. Glory to God. Good morning church. If you are happy to be in the house of the Lord, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see, I am here to give a testimony. Wow. <laughs> um, I've been thinking, there's so much, and I thought, you know what? Let's not go back years, because God has been good to me from day one. Let's stay present. 2024. Um, everyone here knows me and has seen my growth coming up, um, up to today. And even when I was not coming to church, you were always, I was always in your prayers. And God has never left me. And he is all-knowing, he sees all, he knows all. I did not know I would be in this position today. And I just want to thank God for never leaving me. When I say to you that, God is the reason I am here. I mean, God is the reason I am here. You see me, I'm all smile, but you don't know. God is the reason I am here. Um, I went to the doctor and I did some blood tests. The results came. The doctor looked at me and was wondering, how are you still here? When I saw her looking at me, I knew what she was thinking. I said to her, it's not me. I have nothing to do with it. It's God. Nothing in front of her. The result was not good. There was not a good news to give to me. And I looked at her and I said, it's not me. I am sitting in front of you today only because of the grace of God. When I say to you that he has been keeping me alive, I mean that literally. He has been keeping me alive. Every day for me is special. Every day for me is a gift. You would not know that I am that sick. But I am telling you, and I mean, I am reducing that sickness too. No, I'm not even saying that. I am, 
I won't even use that word up here. No. In the name of Jesus. No, I won't use that word up here. No, I won't. But brethren, in spite of everything that you're going through, give thanks for the small things. Give thanks for the big things. And this for me is a big thing. It is a very, very big thing because this, you know, involves my health. This involves my life. So this is a major thing for me. I am a, and I am here today to say thank you, Jesus. Don't be ungrateful, church. Be thankful. No matter how small it is, be thankful. And... I want to thank each person who has encouraged me over the years. Pastor. I always said I wanted a pastor that loves to pick on me. Yes. <laughs> because it will bring me out of my shell and it will help me grow. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Pastor. <laughs> and, um... It's only because of God. And I want to just say to you, church, every day is a gift. When you turn on the news, persons are dying all over. Every day is a gift. Be thankful when you wake up in the morning. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord knows and he knew, Sister Katrina, that you would have been brought to this point in time because his word declares over your life that he knew you before you were conceived in your mother's womb. Nothing takes him by surprise. So we would have prepared you and we give him all the thanks and all the glory. We have a special item at this time by our very own sister, Stacy Taylor and company. Make her feel welcome. I, as we sing this song, I pray that this song will be a blessing to you. <laughs> Some folks may rather have houses and lands. Some folks choose treasure and forget about their soul these things I won't let them hinder me no from serving my God for I've decided to make Jesus my choice
personal choice nobody can make that choice for you you have to make it for yourself no you have to also understand that is it as choice even though it brings blessing can also bring death it can bring death no come on let's be serious it brings blessing but it will also carry death what are we going to die for we're going to die for it, declaring Jesus is Lord. Come what me, are we going to die? And say, so you know what? Me not dead for him, none at all. It is a choice. No, we know that when he blesses, he blesses. We know, it's like you don't know, church. No, when we say that the Lord blesses, I want for you not to think about the money right because it will come and remember so if we are not ready for the money then once it comes we in a problem so we're going to think about the blessings of god if you have children you know that boy used to be woolly per problem you know that young girl you couldn't if you don't know what would have happened to her so we think about blessings. We we'll look at our neighbor and we say, them have got you hell, sickness left, right, and center. So we have to identify our blessing. Get up every morning and thank God for the blessing. When the hard time comes, remind yourself of that blessing. Right? We have to remind ourselves. Right? Go back in our God word and say, God, remember that you promised to bless me. Remember, my God, that you say you will fight for me. Go back in at the word of God. When the situation seemed impossible, have you ever had a situation that seemed impossible? Impossible. You don't know how you got through. It would be like if I can compare it to COVID. Remember, we we're going through COVID. Much work not going on. And we're going through COVID. And if you look back, you're going to say, God, how we go through COVID? Hmm? Some of us will say, because, you know, we got paid. Our pay went from up to zoops. And we are here. We don't look like the worst. We can look and say, we don't look what we did look like. Hmm? We can say we came out victorious through God. Through God. He is indeed worthy of our praise and adoration we are going to go into praise and worship now i am not going to be the one to tell you to stand up no 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 you are going to make that decision as we position ourselves this morning we are going to go into praise and worship praise team Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we lift holy hands and magnify the Lord? Truly the Lord has been good. He has been faithful. And all he asks of us is just to worship him. Worship him in spirit and in truth. So forget about everything that is going on. And let us get in tune. Put our hands together, our tambourines, the musician, everybody. And let us worship the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 Tell me who made the angels singing. Tell me who 
Make the joy bells ring and tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Tell me who, tell me who. May the angels sing and tell me who. Make the joy bells ring and tell me who is the king of kings. Nobody but my Lord. Yes. Tell me who is the king of 
mess up yours. Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down. Oh, comfort her.
one more time we give you thanks Lord we come to give our sacrifice unto you it did not been for you God we wouldn't be here and it not been for your mercy God where would we be today you have opened doors you have carried us throughout the week mighty God father we thank you for our journey in mercies Lord we love you we, God you have been caring for us and you have opened doors and you have blessed us and we have come back oh god to give a portion of that which you have blessed us with father we ask oh god that you will bless those who don't have a job that mighty god doors will be open for them and almighty god for those who have come forward to give i pray that you will increase mighty god your blessing upon them so that on return god we will come back with a hundred or fold and so today, God, as you come forth with our tithes and offering, I pray, God, that you will bless it, sanctify it to your glory, that it will be used to your glory and for what it is have been collected for. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house. Of the Lord, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer up to Him the sacrifice.
Are you tired? No. All right. So if you're not tired, I want for you to look at the person beside you and give them a nice smile. Some on the head not turn. Oh, no. Smile. It's a smile a while and give your face a rest. Smile. Bring back the youth to her face. We're too miserable. We don't love smile anymore. So let me ask a question. Want to be honest or no? Everybody get a smile? Everybody get a smile? All right. So now, for this exercise, you know, so you pastor, and your wife up there, so? All right. For this one, we're going to blow him a little chops. Just chops him up there. Rev, you receive it? All right, wonderful, wonderful. So we all should be feeling nice. If we came here with some form of problem, we should be feeling light because we know our Redeemer live it and we know he fights for us and we know he goes before us and he will calm our troubled minds. Wonderful. Okay, so the choir will be coming next. Make yourself ready. Whisper a little prayer. Before the choir comes, I'm going to introduce our speaker for today. Now, this young lady has been saved from 
she at the age of nine. From she was nine, a long time that you know, to give your heart to God. What if, I mean, now nah, call her old. But I mean, from nine years old, come on, to an adult, God must have been doing wondrous work in her life. We thank God for her. We know her. She's one of her own. Loves to pray. Now listen, we have some prayer people in the church here. You see, when I come at prayer meeting sometime, if you don't give them a time, them alone. Hmm? Them alone. No, me and the other, and no, when me go to my father, right? You know, you're the business. God, you're good. We big you up all of this. And you present your request and all of this. Then, no, see me here now. All right, Jesus, what else we going to talk about now? Anybody ever reached there so yet? Yeah, you know, don't pick him up. You know, don't tell him no problem. And, you know, you wait and listen and you wonder, what else we going to talk about? Let me just tell us something. Just talk about any and everything. You see that problem there? You see, you get your nice result. You know, everything. Just tell him everything. But she loves to pray. Has a heart for the Lord. Loves young people. Intercessor. Yes, man. She do all of that. Once the choir is finished, I want for you all to stand. And we are going to make our sister Ken Roper feel welcome as she brings the word as it has been laid on her heart. Let her word, once it goes forth, find soil within us that it will germinate and start to produce fruit. Is that an amen? Amen. All right. What me like to respond to now, because if we never say amen, we'll do it again. So I'm glad to answer, answer strong. Amen. amen. All right. We're going to be having the choir at this time. It's all of us, you know. We're going to take, we're going to go cross. <laughs> the Lord is indeed good. The Lord is indeed worthy of our praise. This morning, we are just declaring as we think about what the Lord has done for us. And not only that, we're thinking of our response to the Lord. May your hearts be blessed in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. 
My eyes have seen and my ears have heard. I have seen what the Lord has done. What you waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done.
Hallelujah. Check one. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his wonderful name this morning. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Most High God. Hallelujah. You have rescued my life. Hallelujah. Now we should look and see what the Lord has done this morning. Such a beautiful rendition from the choir. God, you have rescued my life. And it is tied in this morning with what the Lord has laid on my heart to speak unto us this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to greet my pastor, Bishop James Lewis, and my first lady, Sister Jacqueline Lewis, to all of you, our councilmen and women, our wonderful brothers and sisters, greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. It is so funny that when I sought the Lord for a word, that the Lord three words came to my spirit and when i looked at all three of them all three of them were pointing to the same thing and so this morning after praying and talking to god this one is the one that came out i'm gonna ask you to turn your bibles with me to saint john chapter 5 and we're gonna be reading from verses 1 to 9. Here begins the word of God. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, a pool, which is called in Hebrew, Bethesda, having five porches, in these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in this, stepped in first, after the stirring of the water was made well of whatsoever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity for 38 years. When Jesus saw him, and I'm sorry, I have to lift this up a little. Yes, my eyes. <laughs> Jesus, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made whole? One version, the King James Version says, Will thou be made whole? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another step down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. Verse 9, and immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked, and that day was the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Such a fitting song for what I want to speak to us this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bow your heads with me as we go into prayer. Most righteous and eternal God this morning, one more time, Father, I come before your throne. I know, God, that you are never too busy to hear me, that, God Almighty, you are never too far away, that my prayers can't reach you. So this moment, Father, a daughter is before you, unworthy and undone. But this morning, Father, I pray, like Isaiah, that you will take the life cause of the altar, and, God, you will place it on my lips this morning 
morning. God, that you will purify me. God, that you will sanctify me. That God, every word that goes out of my mouth will be sanctified, Jehovah God, unto your people. I pray this morning that this lump of clay will diminish, mighty God. I pray this morning, mighty God, that every self and every flesh will be relinquished this morning. And God, only you alone will go forth and get the glory. I ask this morning, God, that you will sit upon every word. God, let it be like dunamis fire to the spirits of your people this morning. God, I pray that you will heal, you will raise, you will saturate according to your words this morning. Let it be done. And God, let your name be glorified this morning, mighty God, as we shabak you in this place, as we glorify you in this place, as we magnify you in this place. Lord, take all the glory, take all the praise this morning, and have your way amongst us. As I tell you, thanks in the name of the Father, in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody help me worship God this morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He is here this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus is here. I have one simple theme. Hallelujah. That I'll be working with this morning. And it says, Jesus is here. Your wait is over. I don't know who told Sister Shauna this morning to be telling you this morning that Jesus is here. I don't know who told the choir to, director to sing that song, see what the Lord has done. But I know that God is about to do something this morning. I know that he's up to something this morning because everything that I have here, I have heard it. Hallelujah. So my theme this morning, Jesus is here. Your wait is over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the book of John gives a vivid introduction of the life of Jesus Christ and what he was about. John spoke about him as the word of God that became flesh and dwelt among us. Everywhere that he went, his course was charted by purpose. Everybody that he touched had a reason. There was glory for God. In other words, everywhere that Jesus went, somebody needed his help. Everywhere that he went, somebody needed his attention. Jesus understood and knew his ultimate goal was the cross. But on his way to the cross, he also understood that there are some people, that there are some situations that he would have met that would have needed to be rectified. And so Jesus went back and forth everywhere that he went. The Bible says that he was in Jerusalem, that he left Jerusalem and on his way to Canaan that praise God I am just gonna be reading my eyes are giving me a little trouble church pray for me to get glasses yes so Jesus it seems to me that Jesus had what we call a need tracker because anywhere there was a problem, he was there. When the church needed a shaken in Cana, he went into the temple and he drove out those that were selling to put things in order. Please stay with me, church. I'm still talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then he went after that for Nicodemus, the tax collector. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something about Nicodemus. He was not liked by everybody. He was despised. Nobody liked the tax collector. Hallelujah. 
don't lose me church I'm still going somewhere with this message then he went back to Samaria for the woman of Samaria hallelujah that had some issues and he went and asked her for water the woman had a need and she met Jesus who could tell her everything about her situation hallelujah and after that Jesus went back into Galilee and there he met that noble man that had a child that needed attention immediately Immediately. Hallelujah. And then right after that, my brothers and sisters, he went right into St. John chapter 5. Hallelujah. Where we are going to be taking our main text this morning. It seems to me, church, that Jesus knew exactly where he wanted to be at the time. None of this was coincident. The fact that he was on his way to the cross and he understood that he had the mandate, there was no need for him to shift or change course. And so anywhere he went, it was a part of his purpose to be fulfilled. Jesus understood that there were some people down into Galilee that needed his attention immediately. And so that takes me to the text this morning that speaks to us that after that there was this feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, the Bible says that there is this sheep gate and by it there is a pool called Bethesda. Now Bethesda in meaning of Hebrew it meant house of mercy and grace but it also meant in Aramic words house of shame and disgrace. So this tells me that anybody who was in this house, they were in a state of shame and disgrace. And they needed the attention of God. Mighty God this morning, somebody pray my strength in the house of the Lord. So the Bible says that in this pool, in this under, in Bethesda, where this porch is, that they live a great multitude of sick people, people from all over with all sorts of deficiency. The Bible says that they were what? Helpless, they were powerless. There is nothing that they could have done to help themselves. My God, and so at a certain season, the angel of the Lord will come down and trouble the water so that this person who would step in face with fine grace and mercy. Mighty God this morning. So the Bible says uh, that Jesus went directly under this porch. I'm talking about Jesus is here. The light is over this morning. I don't know who it is this morning, but I'm here to tell you that Jesus is here and that the light is over. So says this morning church that the great multitude stood there I cannot imagine what was going on at the pool of Bethesda my god there were some blind men there were some people who were hurt some of them were withered with different conditions they had a different desires nothing could help them all they could wait for is the angel of the Lord to try the water. I can imagine the confusion. My God, it takes sometimes. I'm talking and waiting, and nothing seems to be happening. After crying and praying, and after looking to touch the water, 
Jesus knew exactly who he wanted, where he was going. So you might be in a seat this morning and you might be saying, I'm too stressed out. Nobody in a seminar. Nobody going to understand me too. Oh God, Sister Jackie, a long time in a prayer. A long time in another situation. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me stress out. Me Jesus said, hear what the word says, rather, that there was a certain man who had an infirmity. He had a situation. He had a plague. We could have called it a thorn in our flesh. There is no way he could get rid of it. He was helpless at every corner. Every time he tried to move, somebody moved before him. He was not even worthy. My God, he was in this state. If somebody never helped him, he couldn't be helped. Lord God, if somebody never help him changing clothes, he can't be helped. He was too helpless. My God, but I want to tell us this morning that if you're in your situation and you feel like somebody needs to help you, then Jesus will help you. Jesus is here. Your way this morning is over. I know you're tired of the ashes. I know you're tired of the mediocrity. I know you're tired of the same old, same old, and you want a change. I'm telling you this morning that Jesus is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody pray my strength. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that he was there for 38 years. Now, hallelujah, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he was there for so long, my God, I can imagine that there were other persons there who came and jumped in the water and left him there. Imagine if this season when the angel troubled the water was three times for the year or four times and this man was 38. Then we could multiply that by the amount of time that he attempted but somebody jumped before him. But Jesus said, hallelujah, will you be made whole this morning? I don't care how long you have been in your situation. I know that we serve a God of impossibility. Lord God, it might have been so long that you lost all your hope. Stop 
come back, say over. Lord God, people step on you. It seems like you can't come out. You have been wrapped up and tied up. And you need deliverance. And your situation seems like it's not going to end. But I come to tell you this morning, if you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, I want to tell you this morning that Jesus is here and your wait is over. I don't know what you call him this morning, but I call him my strength. I call him my rock. I call him my strong tower. I call him my righteousness. I call him my bridge. I call him my help. I call him my hope. I call him my shield and my butler. I call him my righteousness. I call him my comforter. He is here this morning. Whatever you want to call him, he is here this morning. He is here to meet your needs. He is here to set the captives free. There is no debt that he cannot reach you. When God step in, nobody can push you out of the way for what God has for you. It is for you. When he steps in, nobody can tell us a step aside. It's me and Christ because he will call you by your very own name. He will point out your situation. And God Almighty, he knows you by the very ears on your head. He knows where you sleep. He knows where you live. He knows what you like. So when Jesus shows up, every power, every tempest has to be broken. Nobody has to tell him so soon, dear, because he knows you. So this morning, church of God, he is here this morning. Jesus is here. Jesus is here this morning. You may be impotent. You may be in your trials. You may be on the back burner. It may look like all hell broke loose. Pick me not be on myself. Relationship not carry on. My God, the doctor turn you over. But this morning, Jesus is here. And your right is over. This morning, you can step into your Jericho and possess your land because your right is over. I said your right is over. Jesus of Nazareth is here this morning. Is here this morning. Is here this morning. I said Jesus is here. Whatever you need, God's got it. Whatever you want, God's got it. Whatever you want, it. My God is here this morning. Church of God is here. Is here this morning. Whatever you want this morning is here to meet your needs. Is here to set you free. Here to loose you from your bondage. Here to give you a new walk. Is here to give you a new talk. Is here to change your mindset. Is here to lift you up and to struggle. Is here to turn you around. Is here to heal you. Make you brand new. Help you be great. Is here, church of God, to help you to do right. Is here to help you to live right. Is here this morning, Church of God. Is here, is here, is here this morning to help you attain the unattainable. Is here to help you reach the unreachable. My God, whatever was holding you back is here to help you beat it this morning. Whatever you need this morning is here. God is here. My God. So the Bible says that the man said, Lord Jesus, when I make an attempt, there is nobody to help me. Lord God, the thing that I love about Jesus, he 
is that he looks beyond our faults and he sees our needs because the answer that the gentleman gave was not reasonable because the whole reason of being by the pool of Bethesda is that you must go by yourself. It, it is that you must reach for yourself because it is not a me for you. There was no fellowship there. If at the time before the pool was troubled, you and I were friends, when it is time for the pool to be troubled, we know in are not talking because if I want my breakthrough, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to let you stop me. So I am sorry for him. The response did not warrant God's help but I said church God knows our needs he understands us he knows our heart and when we cry out to him it doesn't matter what is happening he will deliver he will set us free so the Bible says that Jesus said will you be made whole my God he didn't even know that he should say yes my God he said nobody now help me but Jesus said be made whole you don't understand the king of kings and the lord of lords is here he's not here to put you in the water but he's here to heal you so that you don't have to go into the water the king of glory is here this morning to change your situation my God to uplift you give you a new walk. Let whatever was your problem, you start carrying it. Whatever was your situation, you start walking with it. You start walk proud. You lift up your head. And while you're walking, you're saying glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. What was a burden is now a testimony. Lord God Almighty, I wish I had somebody in here this morning who knows what it is when Jesus comes into your needs. Oh God, I wish I had some help. So I love, I love Jesus because when he comes, he's not into any plating. He's not taking any hearsay. He doesn't care if he comes for you, Sister Shana. He comes for you. If he comes for your sister, he comes for your sister. There is no escaping it. So the Bible says this morning that the black, that the, the, Ooh, the altered man he began to take up his bed and celebrate I don't know about you this morning but I know I have some problems and I need Jesus to fix it I don't care what storm clouds it is I don't care what the billows want to roll I don't care what stands in your way what great mountain I come to tell you this morning that Jesus is here and your weight is over all you need to do is reach out and touch him and say God have mercy upon me I've been praying I've been crying I've been waiting I want you to touch me I want you to speak over me I want you to heal me I want you to carry me through I want you to exalt me show me favor restore what the conqueror and the power of the staking. Restore my joy. Restore my walk with you. Restore my mind. Restore my soul. Restore my spirit to where I was. Because I want to do better. I must do better. Because he's here this morning. I know he will change our situation. He's in our midst this morning to fix the unfixable. Oh God, the King of glory. He is here this morning, church.
glory. Hallelujah. 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 So the Bible says this morning that immediately after Jesus spoke to him, he got up. Hallelujah. He took up his bed. Hallelujah. I don't know how long he had that bed, but the Bible says he took it up because he finds so much solace in the bed. Maybe in the nighttime, it was just him and the bed. Only the bed knew the amount of tears and, and prayer that he prayed. And only the bed knew his discomfort. My God, but this morning, like us, God Almighty is in our midst. And when he touched us this morning, we don't need to take take up our comfort we can leave it behind and we can lift our hands and praise Jesus we don't need to carry our burdens anymore but we can lay it at the altar we can drop it at the feet of the most high God this morning because the purpose of being delivered of being set free is to leave what was an hindrance to you behind hallelujah Glory to God. And so the Bible says that immediately he was healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church of God, I don't know what your needs are this morning. I don't know how you've been praying and crying out to God for it. But I just want to tell you that he is here this morning. The sleep razor is here. Hallelujah. The God who walks upon the water is here. The God who raised the dead is here. The God who opened blinded eyes is here this morning. The one who rides upon the wings of the wind. The God who cleansed the ten lepers is here this this morning the same God that called Lazarus from the dead though he was in his situation and stink it my God he is the same God in Glendevon this morning whatever your needs are this morning just reach out and touch him reach out and take a hold of him by faith lift your faith this morning for he says whatsoever you ask of me in my son's name it shall shall be done hallelujah he says he that abides under the shadow of the almighty shall abide he that dwelleth under the shadow of the almighty they shall abide this morning under his wings so church of god i just want to pray and ask god this morning to open up our eyes to see the host of heaven that is standing in glendevon with everything that we need Need, everything that we cry about, everything that we pray about, everything that hindered us, everything that worried us, I want us to see this morning that the King of Glory is here in his full power with your needs. He has your name written on it. He has your name written this morning. He knows your need and that need is here this morning to be met by Jesus Christ my brothers and sisters God bless you hallelujah and have a wonderful day you want to praise the Lord hallelujah come on church of God please stand everybody please stand everybody come on lift up your hands and praise God everybody Come on, lift up your hands and worship God, everybody. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. Come on, move out of your seat and praise God. Come on, move that change of position. Move out of your bench and lift up your hands and praise the Almighty God. Clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. Jesus is here in this place. Your miracle is here right now. Come on, clap your hands. Stop your feet. Receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on. Stop your feet, everybody. There is a miracle that is taking place in this church right now. Something is happening. Oh, holy go. 
blame anybody if you are not set free today. Jesus says he's here and the wait is over. Hey! 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 Hey, loose them, God. Hallelujah! The wait is over. The wait is over. The wait is over. Is over today. Jesus is here. He's here. Hallelujah. 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 He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. He's here. He's here right now. It's deliverance time now. The water is troubled. The spiritual water is troubled. Step right in. And receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. Come on, lift up your hands and praise God, everybody in this place. Lift up your hands and claim your healing right now. Claim your deliverance right now. It's over. It is over, God damn it. In the name of the Father, it is over. In the name of the Son, it is over. In the name of the Holy Ghost, it's over. It's over. Your problems are no more. Your burdens are rolled away. Your sorrows are rolled away. It is over. It is over. It is over. Because Jesus is here the holy ghost troubling the water right now right now every cancer every blood problem every lungs problem kidney problem heart problem marital problem yes god almighty it's over come on claim your healing Claim your healing. Claim your deliverance. Claim your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day. This beautiful day. This marvelous day that you have made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God, I thank you for your, your servant whom you have used today, God in such a mighty, miraculous, wonderful way. May your blessings, O oh God, continue to be upon your, your life. May your anointing God cover her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet right now. I pray for complete strength, God, and power over her life. Thank you for using her in Jesus' name. Look at your sons, God, and your daughters standing at health today. God, they are in need of a miracle. They are in need of a deliverance. The water is troubled, God. The spiritual water is troubled. And they have stepped right in, God, with their different needs, with their different problems, with their sorrows and their griefs. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as they have stepped in the water right now, I release the healing power over them now in the name of Jesus uh, and we curse every cancer we curse every arthritis uh, we curse oh God uh, every diabetes uh, in the name of Jesus every back pain every shoulder pain every foot pain every head pain all types of pain I rebuke them right now in the name of Jesus and I command them to leave uh, their bodies uh, be healed, be set free in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, deliverance, deliverance, healing. In the name of Jesus. Lord, remember Bonaro. He's not here, God. He should have been here. 
somewhere maybe at the hospital right now I come and brother blow into your hands I pray for a miracle over his life right now touch him and heal him I pray for brother Sandra's daughter oh God you see her right now you see her family you see her children you know her mental condition I come against the spirit of suicide right now every suicidal thought I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray for sister Lampart God we have heard her testimony I pray God you will give her some new blood right now touch her blood God stream right now whatever condition she has that is causing oh God to the blood God not to give a good reading I rebuke it right now and I pray in the name of Jesus you will flush out our system right now flush our heart right now and give our new blood in Jesus name new blood new blood new blood receive new blood when she goes back to the doctor God allow the report to be a good one in the name of Jesus let's get better in Jesus name hallelujah here is a photograph oh God I lift it up before you you know the person who is here God I wave it before you now in the name of Jesus whatever condition God whatever the situation in Jesus name I pray for complete deliverance bless this olive oil God sanctify this olive oil healing and deliverance God comfort over your children right now in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Ghost somebody lift up your hands and shout hallelujah somebody lift up your hands and shout glory oh, come on, claim your healing claim your healing claim it in the name of Jesus let nobody bother you. Let nobody trouble you. Hallelujah. If you notice that when the man got healed, it was on the Sabbath day. And some people start to question him. Amen. How you carry your bed on the Sabbath? You are not supposed to do it. He said, the man who told me to rise up and walk. Amen. He said, take up your bed and go home yes. hallelujah and go home walk in the name of Jesus yes. them said to the, to the man where your name me don't know his name you know. me don't know if first he met that man but today we know who heals you we know who delivers you we know who sets you free that is Jesus somebody call him by his name somebody call him by his name Receive your healing in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. Pick up your bed and walk. Walk in power. Walk in righteousness. Walk in victory. But there is no other name like the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and receive your miracles in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Come closer to me. Hallelujah. Look at me. The water is troubled. It is the day that is conducive for your miracle of salvation. You have heard this, this sermon today. Will you accept him as Lord and Savior? Just raise your hand if you decide. Don't look on tomorrow. Just God today. But if you decide to step forward, I know there are circumstances before you right now. And the opportunity may not look right to you. But God said, trust me. Trust me. Make a step of faith this day. I will not force you. I will just ask you one more time. Will you accept him as Lord and Savior? Just raise your hand. If you decide today. Hallelujah. 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 
God will, God will make the way for you. Father, thank you very much for your daughter. She has stepped out by faith. There are challenges before her right now. But I know that by your grace and by your power, she will overcome every one of them. Every heart, oh God, that must be in line with her decision. I pray now, you will touch those hearts right now and allow them to humble to the decision that she has made. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the church say in Jesus' name. Don't worry. Stand your ground to serve God. Nobody knows what tomorrow may bring. But this is your day. Have confidence in his leadership over your life. There are matters that must be discussed and things must work out. But we continue to pray for you that God's coverage will be over you and that you'll continue to serve him. Put your hands together for the Lord as we thank God. Somebody will get her name and, and our number and we will work. Yes, could you, could, could you come, sir? Yes, you, yes, come. Yes, help me. Help me, help me. Just pray for him too. God, I thank you very much for him. You have led me to call him and to pray for him. I put him before you right now. I know, God, you have spoken to him today. I know, God, you are ministering to him right now. I lay my hand upon him. I pray for victory. I pray for del deliverance. And I pray, God, when his heart shall be surrendered to you, so that, oh God, he can be a part of your family. Into your hands, I commend him right now. And I say, thanks, God, for hearing my prayer. As I lose him in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I can't, I can't decide for you. It's a personal decision. Will you accept him today as your Savior? You're already part of the family of God? Okay, praise the Lord. All right, we'll talk. Come on, put your hands together for him. May God bless you, whatever. God will bless you and God will keep you. God bless you. God bless you. Come again. Amen. But we'll keep it. We'll get your name. And, and yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. Praise the Lord. Our Bridget, don't just, just raise your hand one more time. God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you on behalf of Brother Plummer. Oh God, prayer is being requested for him. You see him, you know him. I don't know what the situations are like now, but thou knowest. And so as we come together, God, in unity. Oh God, on his behalf right now, whatever it is, God, I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I pray when Brother Plummer will receive strength and courage on the anointing and healing in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm coming. What a day. Jesus is here. The wait is over. I tell you, brothers and sisters, God can use anybody who makes himself or herself available. And our clerk, secretary, treasurer, has made herself available. And my God, my God.
on, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Uh, I, 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 I pronounce her the evangelist. The evangelist Kerry Kian Roper. In the name of Jesus. Come on, declare it over her. Declare it over her. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God has anointed her today. And I know that more will be coming. In East West, and I, I when, you see when God, when God talked to you, you just do it. God just called me and said, let sister Lampard give a testimony. I did not know that she had any issue with any doctor or any problem. And when I heard that testimony, I said, my God Almighty, what is this God? God no ramp in a virgin. God no ramp. And I tell you something, Friday, I took up my phone. Was, was it Friday? Yes. And texted Sister Roper Friday. I said, you preaching in church. I called her. I said, Sister Roper in the text. Sister Roper in the text. Sister Roper in the text. You preaching Sunday. God is good. And she obeyed and God gave her the word. Virgin, again I say, make yourself available. Because some preacher is sitting in this congregation. And I don't intend to keep you down. I don't intend to keep you down. I am going to let you go. Because we are all So listen for the call. And when the call comes, you just answer to the call. In Jesus' name. God bless you. We have, we, we have the, 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 the offering for the ladies for the convention. Yes, you asked. Oh, she put it, Sister Lewis. Come, Sister Lewis. She put it in the group already. Yes. And so she's asking that you just respond to her now. Everybody, we have a quota. I don't even know where that church is, but somebody has to show it to me first. To, you know, before that day. Anybody knows it? Raise your hand. Westgate Baptist. You know it? Okay. Nobody else? You, you, you know it? Where? Food and lunch. Okay. Good. Okay, all right. We'll find it. Amen. God bless you. So Sister Lois will be collecting the offering now. And then I, I pronounce the benediction. But it's it, it's it is our convention cornwall. And so you have to be there. Come ladies, come brothers. Let us support the women's ministries at this time. And then you go back to your seat and I'll pronounce the benediction, please. And youth choir, just remain where you are. I will be talking to you. Amen. Please. coming with your offering, I want to remind you that tonight we'll be having Lord's Supper, washing of the saints' feet. So I am expecting everybody to make special effort to be out. You know, later 6.30, 7 p.m., that we can have a wonderful time you know, in the, in the Lord. Amen. Please come and give your contribution. Please stand everybody. 
Just raise your right hand. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Henceforth and forevermore shall we all say, Amen. Amen. Young, you'd cry, just sit down there, it's, it's much easier.